Yeah. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for your attendance. Uh, this meeting will be audio recorded and those in attendance should refrain from making any defamatory statements. There to be no other recordings of this meeting without prior authorization of the committee. Applications for attending the meeting via Zoom. Are there any? New received. New received. Uh, any apologies? You'll receive. You'll receive. Declarations of interest. You'll receive. You'll receive. Public participation. No public participation, Mr. Chair. There we are. Well, we can move on to the business items on the infrastructure service report, which is ISC 2.1, Works Program, page one. Um, yeah, the purpose of this report is to provide an update on major works undertaken by water and sewer teams over the previous months and those planned for the upcoming month. Great, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I will pass to you through the report for the report on the uh, first is that our recycled effort is um, was quite low before, due to the weather we had seven months ago. Like it's starting to ramp up due to our hot weather. We expect that to uh, go above seventy percent. Um, the second item probably worth discussing is um, is the scale water treatment plan. Uh, in previous infrastructure reports, there was some discussion that we were going to accept a grant from the Zebra for the design of the plan at the Gully Road Scope facility. Um, in early December, um, Council was uh, approached by Musselbrook Council whether we were, would consider a joint facility. Um, and um, we had a meeting in December for that, um, and it was agreed that we probably should consider a joint facility because it probably is more cost effective. That group um, met back on the 24th of January. Uh, and Bombers of BC Jury and reviewed the freedom of scope and duties. Um, and in principle, we're looking to consider a joint water facility uh, for Scone and Muscle Book at the Russian site, uh, which is uh, something that Council had not planned for in the past. Our, our original plan was to have um, we, we purchased a section of a parcel of land at Gundy Road um, and the pipeline went through that site. So we plan that, but um, this opportunity came up with Musselbrook and we're proposing to go down the site of the, the part of considering a joint facility for Russian. Um, so that the uh, there is a council report um, going to go up, which basically requests a small amount of money to permit that to occur. Um, what that will do is it will delay our design for the Gundy Way site and potentially the, the, um, uh, delivering that project at that location. And it will, um, by going and doing the joint project with Musclebook, it will provide um, potentially a, a better option than an able to go So there will be a council report uh, requesting a small amount of money uh, to undertake that joint assessment uh, of the wood treatment plan. Uh, the third item is um, just for your information the sludge desludging of the ponds at Mary Wall, Mary Wall Sewage Treatment Plan. The contract for that has will be in February um, for the water. Um, the last item I'll probably address is on page four, which is about the water supply um, stand pipes, park bill, wicking, and plant. Um, so, Council adopted to install stand pipes at the three locations. Um, it was not clear or it wasn't defined where those locations would be. Um, the Council officers went back through the community consultation. There was a few notes to say where that they should be, but even though the consultation wasn't specifically uh, aimed at, at where the stand pipe should be, there's not enough in there to really define. Locations. Um, uh, sorry, I've had some commit. I'm sorry, we from the from the sites we've identified where they where they are likely to go. We've done some resident letter drops um, and told the adjacent residents um, 
sites and where they are and what they are. Um, we've been contacted by two people, uh, Matt Henry from Seven Vernon Street at Lincoln. Uh, we've been contacted by him. And I'm sorry, I don't know his last name. He's at Eight Vernon Street, Lincoln. They're both adjacent to the where we're proposing to put standpipes. And uh, they're quite vocal about the standpipes is in the, that we proposed at the tank site is in the wrong location. Um, because from Matt's perspective, it's, it's an area where there's lots of shift workers, um, there's small kids in the street. Um, Man, his perspective, is concerned about the dogs, but more than if they do to get water in those sort of things. Um, Matt's indicating that the defense panel has been installed, um, barely a buffer between him and the uh, and facility that will probably be that, uh, that, that issue. Um, and because of the because of what they've identified, we're looking to move the facility inside the property rather than have it on the street, which gives it a bit, a bit further distance and moves parts of it from the inside. Um, so, as part of the adoption of this report, it's really to identify and accept the three locations where we can put the water facilities, the water distribution facilities, being um, 54 Raglan Street, which is actually the highway. Uh, the, um, the entrance is off Vernon Street, um, hence Inner Street Parkville, which is just off the highway, and uh, in White Street, land to the opposite. Um, so we're looking for good endorsement of that. And probably some of the report. Um, question. Here, um, through you, um, I've had phone calls from both of those gentlemen. Um, I'd like to say we just put in there that we, uh, I think there's already a fence there. Is that correct? Between the water seeing in that resident of some description? Yeah, correct. There is a um, steel fence, steel posts, and uh, more style rails at the top. It's about four feet tall. It's got wire mesh um, that fills in gaps. You've got hooks on one side and dogs, and that's a tackle. So, my question to you, Mr. Chair, is is it feasible to do today that? Um, Keep the piece that we uh, buy the material and put it all on that fence without too much cost. If there's any cost that comes out of the grant funding, is that the best of the solution? I uh, guess through the chair, um, that would be possible. I uh, think that's what we need to do as well. I think mean, to you, Mr. Chair, again, I've uh, certainly explained on that I don't believe that water station is going to get used to the great deal. I think Mary will put one out there very soon and get used. So this makes it happy for those adjoining neighbours and make sure the drainage is right. I'd be uh, happy to add that uh, recommendation or just take it on notice, take it on notice. But I'll get the support from council. Yes, um, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, and we do, do we have sufficient funds in there to provide that fence within the grant? Yes, so the grant process was actually um, to do the whole distribution. We get to go back to the grant body. And know exactly how much we can um, but that can be really small. Okay, any other further comments or questions? Well, um, Mr. Mayor, um, if you'd like to have that as a motion, it should be used as a motion. Uh, I think it should be held off that into the GM. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chair, I think what the mayor's put forward um, is moved as the motion. So, respectively, the staff recommendation is additional points around yeah. protection of staff, uh, protection of privacy. I think it's probably the easiest way to do it um, for the property at the four railing three by installation of fencing. Good about a thing with that, please. Sorry, Chair. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, the wrong, wrong one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Flower. Uh, you'll second that. We all on the green, so all those in favour, please say aye. Just one more, yes. Yes, one more comment. So I'll put it up to the, the staff and the residents concerned to come up with a reasonable plan of attack. Thank you. Thank you. We are all happy to vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, voted and passed, so thank you for that. That's a, a good outcome. Turn over to page uh, 23, please. And uh, I see 2.2. Um, that the committee received the report and had the information. Sam, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank 
just with this report, um, I guess there's a couple of things uh, that I hear uh, as your eyes. Um, there's a few few items here on the track. Um, you're working, working to get them back on the track. But I guess one of the, the main ones that the one the one flag uh, would be the um, that of council um grading completed. Um, so we're both falling behind in that area. Um, we do have additional um, graders currently working there, but um, yeah, I just, just want to flag, flag that, that that is behind, and we do have additional um, with that out there trying to have the um, independent weather and contractor availability, whether we do catch that up or not. Um, one one of the, the challenges that we talk about is uh our work programs and the the um grade crews coming on to those and that leaves our maintenance grading crew behind it we'll try to catch that up with contractors but the contractors they are also got their own business so they're trying to balance the, the two so you know they'll work for us and then they'll work private works fairly so it's it's pretty hard so um Maintain our set kilometer rate when they're trying to pop out. Our I'm just glad that with this. As Mr. Chair just through that, Sam, it's great to see the funding that's come through over the last couple of weeks and more over the last 24 hours. How are you going to overcome that? We're already short of graders and contractors. We've got this money to spend. How are you going to overcome that? Uh, really care that, that will be a challenge. Um, and most of it will have to be contracted out, and it won't be the local contractors uh, that will potentially get that. We'll have to um, go further afield to, to do that. Yep. Yeah. 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 Because we, 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 we clearly don't have the resources. You know, we're, we're just keeping up, or clearly we're not keeping it up with our, our normal maintenance now. Um, Three, Mr. Chair. Three, Mr. Chair. So we're in hindsight, we probably should have kept a couple of graders if we had this funding that's coming to Yeah, I was going to say through the care, we don't we don't have the operators. Um, we can't count some candle out of it. Anyway, it's great to be in that position, but we're really gonna look at it. Three, Mr. Chair, I think every council is gonna have the same problem because everyone's making so, I think we're all just Mr. Chair, yeah. um, I was going to raise what Councillor McPhee has said. This is just a repeat of the Bridges program. Uh, if you recall, the Bridges money was accelerated, a lot of money was given to the state, and there was a shortage of bridge contractors, and it resulted in increases in bridge construction rates. I think we're going to see exactly the same with the $500 million released by. State government, as much as it's appreciated, what we're going to see is a short of contractor being able to actually achieve the works because councils don't have no council would have the resources to be able to accommodate that without some assistance from uh, contract resourcing. As uh, Sam pointed out, we're in the boat where we can't even get operators, so it's not a case of having all graders because we can't get the operators. So we are relying on contractors and we're going to. Thank you, Mr. GM. Is it um, something that council should look at then is to um, very actively um, find and, and obtain extra uh, extra drivers and, and, and crews because it really was going the other way. The the candy graders were um, parked up and then they were they were they were actually not replaced. Uh, because for various reasons, one reason they could have. I'm not sure whether we have been terribly acting in trying to get crew greater driver, greater true crews, and that's something that, that I think will is sort of compounding what we're trying to do, Mr. Chair. As well as the availability, we need to make sure you've got ongoing work. So, we're seeing a spike at the moment this funding. Um, if we put employees on, we need to make sure that we've got ongoing work, or we only put them on casual. Um, for a short period of time. So that's the, um, I guess, the HR dilemma that we need to consider. 
it's very hard to get a small time, even harder to get a, a, a casual rate of driving. So if you're going to put additional drivers on it, you guarantee that you're actually being successful, then you can certainly have a young girl work for you. I said yes, pretty yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Well, add to that. We have been actively looking for some. Um, we're, we're constantly putting ads out and um, yeah, looking for stuff. That's yeah, it's hard to recreate that on. And I think the industry wide is the same. Yeah, I, I think, well, thank you for that comment. And, and I think we all appreciate that. Uh, however, um, the work is still there. Uh, because we've all been just so far behind in, in their maintenance, which has been going on for uh, some time, and even perhaps over there, I say, in a number of years. Um, so, really, um, if we obtain some extra drivers and, and a crew, have we got the equipment? Because we, we I think, we've lost a grader from, uh, from our, our fleet. Uh, but then again, it isn't prudent to have a grader sitting idle. With no crew, so I think the two have got to go together. Um, I have a question too regarding the, the grants for damage on page 26. Um, have all of these, these um, uh, claims been, um, uh, have, we, have we been successful with all the claims? Good chair, uh, no, not today. So we've got approved the, the 987 uh, and the 1012 and uh, 1034 are still pending. Right. Uh, we're, we're constantly um, working with transport uh, to get these funds approved. So, in addition to the funds that we already have, we will have some extra funds available if these, these come through. Would that be correct? Definitely, yes. So the, the idea currently with the, the blood damage problem that we have is that um, we undertake these works when we're in the areas of maintenance. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're going up Dales Creek Road, uh, do a maintenance break, you're attending to the defects um, that have been identified in the blood damage. So essentially, it will take us 12 months to get around that first, first claim. So, with some of those defects and the recurring defect, um, can they be upgraded as we're going? Is there funding available to some of them are just happening every time it rains? Uh, now, it, it can those they is there funding to be able to upgrade to prevent that happening? No, um, the, the funding is like the like there is well. Partly, there, there is another um, round of funding here, which you'll see. Uh, it's in the uh, seven. We've got flat in for Atwood Road, crossing the Rich Ramblers in Brutal. Yeah. We've identified those um, four roads, um, and Barrington Pops actually should be in there as well. Um, for the improvements. Okay. Yeah, but generally it's like the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess that's something that we've done. Um, I, I suggest we need to keep our eye on because so often I get complaints or well, it happened last time, happened again, and it's very difficult for council to um, address those problems if we haven't got the funding to upgrade. Yeah, and we just keep that going. Yeah, we've also received um, the bedroom funding as well. That's to upgrade causeways, my understanding, yeah. and bridges as well. So there are some, there is some infrastructure that is being upgraded to a high right. standard. That Carlson's Creek one is one that continues each time, which it just needs a causeway. Um, so that can be improved. Anyway, yeah. okay. Um, perhaps we'd like to, to move over then on to um, our grading program. Um, uh, I did receive a, an email to suggest that the, the potholes on the Fly Spring Road um, had been uh, rectified and now closed. I'd like to suggest that the uh, still open before it was um, 
down that stubble end and still um, still deteriorating. And I also did notice, in fact, that it's, it's actually on the front of the road. There's one, uh, it could be a CRM, but I'm suggesting it needs to be brought up because it's about two kilometres on the western side before you get to the, the uh, uh, wooden turn-on. There's a bad depression on the left and I was coming back to the semi-loaded and I could not avoid it because of the car coming opposite. It needs to be attended to. It's been on that for there are so nearly 12 months, but it may not be 12 months, but it is on. I'm wondering whether that could perhaps be uh, brought, brought forward to uh, to attend to it. Okay. Um, we all have before us the grading program, etc. Um, need I say that um, uh, weather has not been on our side to, um, to address a lot of these issues. Uh, and so it makes it very, very uh, difficult um, to um, uh, fix these things up. We all uh, had a quick look. Yes. No, no, I'll, I'll do it. You're yeah, right. right. There's no other question. <laughs> I can't remember the further questions on that. Um, should we deal with this thing? This one, that all part and part of it here. Let's take a look. Yeah, well, which is why I don't want to you should deal with it. Anyway, I'm happy to do it too, but otherwise, don't. Um, yeah, okay. Any other further questions on, on that program? Move. Move. Senator? Allison? Taylor? Oh, that's good. Great day. <laughs> We're all happy to get things going. All those in favor, please say aye. As again, I think the ayes have. Okay, IFT 2.3 uh, on page 38. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, Sam, you still have the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to just you go up the, the run through this and if you've got questions on writing as one or the relevant um stuff then we'll take it after the the main bit of it say after this project might be up to give some direction. Yeah, look I, I um just following on from what we discussed the um, the actual we're behind in our, in our, our spending budget. I mean uh, we've only spent um, eight million or whatever it is. Um, Sixty-four thousand, but on the other hand, um, we have got a lot of money, and this is what we've been discussing. We've got to try and get these things done, which is is causing a you suggested a challenge. Um, just reading through this, it is good the fact that there's some extension uh, of time on these bridges is being brought up with the fact that there's a lot of bridges. There's just so many. So much work there uh, that, that um, as long as we can, we can keep our funding and have an extension. Please, Mr. Chair, I'd like to say it's rather highly illegal. Yeah. Mr. Chair, just to clarify, we're making a lot about the spend. Um, we are actually sitting at 80% of the year-to-date spend, so we're actually sitting roughly where we'd like to do it. In that regard, if we um, certainly wouldn't want to build much below that, but um, in regard to the spend of the year today, it's sitting at 80%. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought they were a little bit funny figures anyway. If you, if you suggest that, well, then, uh, yeah, okay. Chair, I'm always so happy to see me and Brookie Governor Clark. I'm also very happy to have that big announcement last week that we can put in the state government. Now, they can be work right off our maintenance program right in the year, so we have I, I totally agree with that. Um, and um, I also might add that um, I think um, commendation should be given to Jackie Bachelor to um, try to take a lot of these grants. That's a lot of these are direct from the government, but uh, it's a full time job. Uh, and uh, I think we've been pretty successful in what we've been getting. Okay. 
have uh, any further comment on um, ISC 2.3? There will be no further comment. Move and second. Yes. Move. Yes. All those in favour, please say aye. Have it. ISC 2.3. Um, uh, page um, 45. This is always a, a good read. Mr. Booty, you have the floor. I have Gavin back here. I think we have Gavin. <laughs> Gavin loves speaking. Hey, Gavin, it's good. Okay, thank you, Gavin. Thanks, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's a pretty quick update. Uh, the tender was advertised in December for the construction. Uh, we held a pre tender meeting on the 31st of January. And I'm attended uh, at, at that site meeting. They did ask for an extra two week extension. So the usual closing date was the 29th of February. But that's been pushed out to the 16th. Uh, that's about it. There, there are multiple questions on, on the board which we're, we're entering and some clarification. But if there's any, any further questions, the big question is, we would love to see it start. <laughs> However, Mr. Mayor, can you like it? It's about a I think, please. Yeah, so the timing with the closing now on the 16th of March will probably put the um, council meeting for adoption for the May council meeting. Is our best guess? It could come to April, but it'd be very tight. And um, I guess if we do meet the April council meeting, We'll just be a month ahead of schedule, but at this stage we're saying probably May. If we're going to award in May, we'd be looking at commencement just around about the commencement of the financial year. Okay. Um, now with the um, can we say the signing the deed for the funding source? Is that um, funding? No, they're still with the government. They're still processing the deed paperwork, so the deed hasn't been given to us yet. So we're running both processes in parallel. Can't do anything about that. No, um, we have been with uh, state government representatives last week. They're aware of the situation. They're obviously doing everything they can there. The, the federal government's made an announcement that I, I don't envisage the risk that we had last time where it was an announcement without the funding being uh, flowing through. It's just getting the Paperwork to sort it out, but the paperwork is with the two governments, and it needs to be finalised at their end before we can sign it. I just, I guess, my main concern was the fact that um, the state um, election coming up, and um, whether there is a change of government or not, we don't, we don't know. It will be determined on that election night. Um, but then, that, because it would appear to me that one is dependent upon the other. Getting that funding, so that's that's the concern. Yeah, I understand the concern there. The state government has said that their funding is secure, and as you said before, the federal government uh, is taking that into consideration as they make their paperwork um, preparations for us. One is dependent on the other, but both are working together. Two state governments, uh, two government levels are working together to get all the paperwork for us in the proper form. Okay, well, I guess it's out of our hands. Really, we've done as much as we can. Council, that I want to make this point clear also, I believe the council has um, progressed this matter to its fullest to obtain the funding and, and follow things up. So, really, we are, um, while there is a certain amount of doubt, it's more probable than otherwise that it will really occur. Yeah, okay. Any further questions on? Uh, on uh, IC 2.4. No further questions. The mover and the seconder, please. Move Councillor P, second of Councillor Clown. All those in favour, please say aye. Again, I think the ayes have it. Right now, turn to page 50. And response to the previous question. Um, I'm happy with that that response. It wasn't to the um, 
uh, to what I uh, had, had hoped. But anyway, uh, if that, that's what is being allocated, then that's what it is. So I'm happy to, to accept that. Um, we need to, um, do we need, need to have a move and second on that? Yeah, move. Move, Councillor Blass, Councillor Ferris, Councillor Black, I have a um, Second, all those in favour, please say aye. Again, thank you. Great. Okay, I have the 2.6, 50, page 52. Mr. Chair, can I please, um, a letter sent to me from Mrs. James on Friday. A um, question she wanted to put the meeting today is cut out time or missed the cut out time, of course, or spending it. It's like a mission, Mr. Chair, to have that email here. Okay. The council's got that email here. Give it to them for their own record. Do we have, do we have uh, a copy? Yes, here's a copy. I guess we better put that in the motion then, that we, uh, we accept that uh, the late application, a uh, late letter. Thank you. Uh, who will move it? Okay. Okay. All those in favour, please say aye. And again, I think the ayes have it. Thank you. Okay. Um, now, uh, the, the written um, letter that uh, question that we have here from uh, uh, Mr. Paul James. Um, are you happy with that response? Or I'll, perhaps I will read the, the question just to make sure that everybody is up to date on. Councillor Pollison, could you please confirm the cost to date of the recent Muffet Street Park upgrade and advise if there are any remaining funds available to construct a footpath along Muffet Street north of Phillip Street? The response from the, uh, the council uh, directors, the cost to date of the Muffet Street uh, part upgrade is $472,000. The grant funding has been fully expended and council provided an additional funding to complete the project. There is currently no funding available in the budget to construct a footpath along Muppet Street. Um, I'd just like us to have a little bit of time to um, to read this, this letter. But, um, I think Mr. Chair, you take that letter with you. It's not going to make a couple more questions here that I'll have okay. a response. I might just read them out. Um, is there adequate room available to construct a footpath within the Muppet Street Road Reserve between Phillip Street and Sherwood Street? Then the other one is, um, you wish to respond to that? Right? Yes, through Mr. Chair, I thought, I thought this question might be asked, had a feeling this might come up. Um, the construction of a footpath in Muppet Street between Phillip and Sherwood Streets would require the resumption of land as the road carriageway is very close to the boundary of the property on the corner of Muppet Street and Phillip Street. Thank you, Mr. Brigham. On the second one, can you please advise if any funds are available to undertake the draining works in Muppet Street between Phillip Street and Sherwood Street? Mr. Chair, there is currently no budget allocation for drainage works in Muppet Street. However, Council staff will prepare a cost estimate for drainage improvements along this section of road. Depending on the cost of this work, Council may be able to reallocate money in the current budget to fund all or part of this work. Council's ability to complete any additional stormwater drainage work in the current financial year will also depend on, depend on contractor availability. If Council is unable to complete drainage, work, drainage improvements this financial year due to inadequate funding or resource limitations, this work could be considered for inclusion in the 23-24 operational plan. Thanks, Mr. Minister. You meant the Chair. I think that's a great response. And uh, if we could get that water off Phillips Street that's running down pipes across, would be great. And that depends, of course, on the funding money. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, um, um, anyone else would like to this? Those responses to this letter will they be included? Okay, and this letter will then be printed and then the response will be included. So, thank you, Mr. Pringle, for that. Yes, okay. Um, well, that brings us to the, to the end of our infrastructure meeting. Thank you very much. I've got a vote. Thank you so much.